Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. First of all, if you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, you can find links in the description box. My today's video is on, Fisher Series 3580 Control Valve Positioner. In this video, I am going to explain the working principle of this positioner. As you can see, this is the direct acting Fisher Series 3580 valve positioner. As I said earlier that, it is direct acting valve positioner. So, when the instrument pressure increases, the bellows expands to move the beam, causing the flapper to restrict the nozzle. Because of this, nozzle pressure increases, and moves the relay diaphragm assembly to open the supply valve. When supply valve open, output pressure to the diaphragm actuator increases, which moves the actuator stem downward. And stem movement is fed back to the beam by means of a cam, which causes the flapper to move away from the nozzle. When the flapper move away from the nozzle, nozzle pressure decreases, and the relay supply valve closes to prevent any further increases in output pressure. The positioner is once again in equilibrium but at a higher instrument pressure, and a new actuator stem position. Now, let's discuss scenario, when the instrument pressure decreases. As you can see, when instrument pressure decreases, the bellows contracts, and it move the beam and uncover the nozzle. Through relay operation, the exhaust valve in the relay opens to release diaphragm actuator pressure to atmosphere. And this allow the actuator stem to move upward. And stem movement is fed back to the beam by the cam to reposition the beam and flapper. When equilibrium conditions are obtained, the exhaust valve closes to prevent any further decrease in diaphragm case pressure. As I said earlier in this video, this foregoing describes operation is for only direct acting positioner. For reverse acting unit, operation is similar except that as the instrument pressure increases, the diaphragm case pressure is decreased. Conversely, when instrument pressure decreases, diaphragm case pressure is increased. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. And if you think this video is informative for you and others, then please share this video with your friends. And please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification, when we post next video on the channel. And if you have any questions about this video, please feel free to ask me in comment box. I will try to give best possible answers to your questions.